What's up, everybody? If you want to see some life changing Japanese chicken, you've come to the right place. So, I was cruising around Tokyo, came across this restaurant called Tadon. I gotta be honest, it ain't my first time coming to this place. I've come here a few times before. It's just that fucking good. So this place operates with a food ticket vending machine system. You jam your bill deep inside that vending machine, press the button for the food you want. So I'm getting me a chicken and egg rice bowl, and I gotta be honest, I'm getting real excited. Borderline aroused. So I chilled in my seat for about four minutes waiting for this rice bowl. I saw some flames jumping around in the back kitchen. I guess they were grilling up my chicken to perfection, baby. So check out that chicken. What do you think? Because I think they did a top-notch job. They got some spices, special sauce, and some char grill action on that chicken. Nice fucking chicken right there. Next up, they got what I can only describe as being a soft-boiled egg, but somehow it's different from a soft-boiled egg. I don't know what it is about Japan, but they've got cooking eggs down to a fine art. Not only that, but the quality of eggs in this country is so high that you can eat those bad boys raw without even batting an eye. So along with that chicken bowl, they also gave me some broth on the side, along with some English instructions on how to use the broth. Apparently, if you so desire, you can add some broth to your bowl after you've finished most of it. It'll give your bowl a soup-like consistency. Anyway, enough with the chattering. Now it's time to try this motherfucker. Just gotta get some egg on that chicken. Now I'm gonna jam it down the hatch. Now that's some good chicken right there. It's succulent to the max and juicy as hell. I might even go as far as to say as it changed my life. Now another good thing about this restaurant is they have some grade A kimchi on the side. All you can eat free of fucking charge. On top of that, to be perfectly honest, I think this just might be the best kimchi I've had in Japan. See, I lived in South Korea for two and a half years, and when I first came to Japan, I was a little bit taken aback. A lot of the kimchi in Japan is low on the spiciness level and high on the sweetness level. It can sometimes taste like you're eating cabbage doused in ketchup, but not at this place. The kimchi at this place has a nice spicy bite to it, and it tastes fresh, edible, and fucking incredible. Anyway, after I jammed that kimchi into this bowl, I started chowing down like a wild man. I took a brief moment to try some of that broth on one spoonful, but to be honest, it wasn't to my liking. What can I say? I don't like my rice bowls wet and wild. I like them dry and dirty, baby. So fast forward in time, I finished that rice bowl off, and I gotta say, I felt real satisfied. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.